I totally learned my lesson from the last time I flew off for a short getaway to the Philippines. The one thing that I forgot to do early was to exchange some currency. Silly me. <laughs> I left that to the very last minute and ended up at the closest money changer a day before my trip. And I really regretted it. <sighs> I was given the worst rates imaginable, but still had to exchange some currency anyways. I can just hear my friends nagging at me again. Since then, I will never let those sneaky exchange rates and high fees catch me off guard again. Before flying off to anywhere, I'm going to make sure that I do my homework and plan ahead to find the sweet spot for the best exchange rates. So here's the breakdown on the best places to exchange your money both before and after your vacation. So here's the best places to exchange currency. Did you know that you can actually skip the ATM transaction costs altogether by going to a bank or credit union? And you might even get a better exchange rate as well. If you already have an existing checking or savings account with them, they will gladly change your dollars before and after your trip. I've tried banks like Citibank and Bank of America that didn't charge me a fee and will even provide you with convenient options like online transactions or mailing you currency. Just a heads up though, if you need big amounts like $1,000 or more, most banks will require you to drop by the branch and pick up the currency in person. By the way, you can easily check out the exchange rates online and see which banks are offering the best rates. Apparently, I found out that not all branches can exchange currency and the exchange rates between banks can vary quite significantly. So I would suggest that you call your local bank first to see if they have the currency that you're looking for. So here are the steps to exchange currency. All right, let's begin your currency exchange mission. Start by checking your bank's online portal to see if they have the currency you're after. Take note though, if the country you're heading to has some currency restrictions due to political or economical issues, your bank may not have access to the currency. For some African and Eastern European countries, you'll only be able to exchange currencies at their local banks and ATMs. To make it easier for you, you can follow these steps. Step number one, get in contact with your bank or credit union to confirm if they've got the currency and check on the fees. Step number two, find out the exchange rates on your bank's website, credit union, or websites like xe.com. Number three, make sure the bank's exchange rates are fair. And finally, number four, arrange for a pickup or delivery. Here are some other options to exchange currency as well. Once you've touched down at your destination, it's smart to have some extra cash in hand for your shopping sprees and meals. Find your bank's ATM if there's any or one that's within its network. And consider exchange services like Travelex. Banks would usually charge either a flat fee or a percentage from 1% to 3% when you withdraw foreign currency from an ATM. It's best to determine your bank or credit union's policy on reimbursing ATM fees so you can plan ahead. Here's a nifty tip. If you need to locate your bank's nearby ATMs, you can download the bank's app beforehand to locate ones that's closest to you. If the bank's ATM fees are a bit steep, consider taking out a larger amount in one go. If you don't have a choice and have to use an ATM that's outside your bank's network, expect to be imposed with some extra fees. If you decide to use your debit or credit card during your trip, check if your bank provides additional security features like sending a text message after every transaction or requiring extra authorizations for higher than usual spendings. Another option to consider is this app called WISE. They don't only specialize in currency transfers, but you can also apply for a handy debit card. Nice. It's super convenient for any of you frequent travelers out there because you'll get access to up to 40 currencies in your account. 
All right, this one's really important. Avoid exchanging currencies over here. Unfortunately, when it comes to exchanging your money to another currency, the worst places are always the most convenient ones, right? Like airport kiosks, hotels, and tourist centers. It's pretty important to be aware of the current exchange rates, especially if you're unable to locate a nearby ATM. If you find yourself having to exchange money in another country, brace yourself for extra service fees and a higher exchange spread, usually around 1-2%, to which is the rate a business gives you when you sell your US dollars to them. Oh my god. I also read up that we should try not to download country-specific mobile apps for financial services as they come with additional unknown risks as well. Now let's check out some alternatives to exchange currency. Beyond the traditional options, there are also other alternatives to exchange currency when it comes to making purchases abroad. You can use your credit cards, prepaid cards, US dollars, and mobile payment providers like Google Pay, Android Pay, or Apple Pay. Firstly, the convenience. Times have really changed. Nowadays, even street markets, festivals, and many smaller businesses accept electronic payments. In countries like Mexico or French Polynesia, US dollars are often welcomed as well. Many credit or debit cards also offer a 0% foreign transaction fee, making them an excellent choice for paying for various expenses like dinners, museum visits, or sporting event tickets. So best to check them out. Then there's the security of it. Don't forget to check with your credit card company in advance about your exchange rates because using credit cards for expenses like hotels, restaurants, and rental cars is usually a smart move as it provides you with the added purchase protection that you can acquire on transactions at various businesses. By the way, when you're planning your trip, it's best to let your credit card company in on the details as well, especially when you're discussing additional security features. And finally, getting those reward points. By using your credit card for purchases when traveling, you get to earn points and some even air miles as well. Understanding the world of currency exchange needs strategic and proper planning to get the best rates possible in order to get your money's worth, especially if you're on a budget during your travels. Make sure to plan ahead and have the best vacation possible. If you found this information helpful, do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more Save Your Penny tips.